Hi, this is Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, DevOps TV, and we're here at DevOps Enterprise Summit 2017, fourth DevOps Enterprise Summit in San Francisco. And I'm here to, happy to be joined by someone who's probably been at all four. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking at all four, none other than Dominica. You said it right. All right. Awesome. Dominica de Grandis. Yeah. Dominica, you know, many people know her as the queen of Kanban. Mm hmm. Now we know her as Dominica from Tastop. Mm -hmm. But yeah. probably the biggest news is Dominica the author. <laughs> <laughs> Making work visible, exposing time theft to optimize work and flow. This mm -hmm. is going to be available tomorrow. Tomorrow. Today mm -hmm. is what, November 11th? 12th, 13th, 12th. so 14th. 14th, available. Yes. It's on Amazon. Amazon. It's from IT Revolution Press. Yeah. Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Noble, yeah. all the usual suspects. Yeah. Um, I had a quick look through it. I haven't had a chance to read it, but knowing yeah. the kind of work you do, mm -hmm. I'm sure this is going to be great. Thank you. Give our audience a little background, though. A little background. Well, I've been doing Kanban for DevOps workshops for quite some time, and I have exercises that I like to do, and I'm calling upon different theories and experiences and practice, and I would always have to go get different books out of the bookcase. So one of the reasons I wrote this was so I could have my own reference with all the information in one place. And the second reason was because everybody wanted, like, where's the book on this? And I didn't have a handout in my workshop. And every time I do a workshop, I ask for feedback. And, more, and feedback, every single workshop was, I wish we had the material printed out. So now it's now printed, now it's now printed out, and we have a book. So does, this yeah. then represents the, the accumulated learning and, and what you've taught at these workshops all these, all these years, all these, these last years. three, four years, five yeah. years. It's got most of it, not all of it, but it's got a lot of it in there. So it's got um, most of the exercises that I do in the workshop and a lot of the thinking. Really? A lot of the thinking behind why we have too much whip, why it's hard to say no. You know, we, we kind of do it to ourselves. We take mm -hmm. on more work than we have capacity to do. And so too much whip is the ringleader thief. There's five thieves of time that if you could identify and keep track of, would help you understand all the time that is being wasted due to conflicting priorities and unknown dependencies and neglected work and too much whip. I've actually interviewed you on these five thieves of time before, so mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like I know them. Mm -hmm. I do know them. I don't know them as well as you. Yeah. But you know what? The, the saying, not being able to say no mm -hmm. is, I think, and, and you want to know the truth, that transcends development in IT. Absolutely. So in the book, I tell this story of my husband and I are at home, and he's up on the roof of this old dilapidated building. He's taking down the roof. He's, you know, perilously perched up there, and I'm on the ground. But I'm thinking, hun, how about if we build this 16 by 24 foot greenhouse at back? And he's like... Can't you see I'm busy up here? Um, but if you know, other than being perched on a 25 foot rotting building, most of the time he was struggling saying no to me yeah. because he likes me. And the same kind of holds true in the office. We do things for people we like, uh, at, you know, especially if it's the boss. It's really hard to say yeah. no to the boss. And so we keep saying yes, we pile on the work, and then things take longer. And it costs And it more. takes you down a yeah. whole different road. I mean, yeah. I will tell you, I saw this as an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, we had, I, was, I had co-founded a security company with yeah. a very large Wall Street customer who went, who went out of business in 2008. And they wanted, they were going to buy our product for a lot of money, a seven-figure deal. Wow. But they needed some features. And my yeah. engineering team revolted. They were like, these features are not anywhere on our roadmap. They're going to take us a whole different path. Yeah. And we were like, well, but it's a seven-figure deal. Yeah. And, and, and we spent yeah. two release cycles. This is before DevOps. Yeah. This was like two, three, four-month release cycles, six-month release cycles, a year out of our thing, building this product for this company, who hadn't even paid us yet, by the way. I'll have you know. And 
they went out of business. We had now this product that did what they wanted to do and no one else wanted to, no one really wanted these. And we lost a year yeah. of doing it. And that, yeah. you know. Cost of delay was huge. Wound up costing the company, uh, you know, its life in, in essence. Because yeah. that product, you know, window, I always believe windows open and close. And, and the window closed because mm. we were too busy you know, going down this other path because we you gotta learn when to say no. Sometimes yeah. you gotta say no and no matter how enticing or good short term. If we don't say no and we take on too many things, then we don't reserve time that we need to focus to do our most important work. Yeah. So I practice I ha I just did this talk about um, using do not disturb hours as a way to train people in your office. These are the hours that don't disturb me during this time because it's I need I need some time to do. We need time to do I the work of our life. Need that. Can you come to my office? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need you there because we, yes. we've tried this and it, life yeah. gets in the way and it, it's and we're small. I mean we're not. You I know, know. Yeah. Well, but if you allocate you know 100% of your time, it doesn't leave room for, for any no, anything for any slack for any yeah. for any emergencies. So. Let's talk a little bit about TaskTop. Okay. So you joined in September. Yep. Your role is? I'm Director of Digital Transformation. And that mm -hmm. means? So <laughs> uh, I'm helping organizations understand the value of making their whole value stream visible. Like, like end to end, from the time we got that brilliant idea in, through all the funding, through all the design and development, and Helping, and in order to do that, you really need to connect different tools because developers are in their tool and ops are, you know, if you're using Jira or ServiceNow, like, or you probably have a lot of different tools. Right. You know, there's like zillions of tools there's out there. No lack. And you know, with DevOps is saying allow people the autonomy to choose the tool that they want to work in. Um, and so if everything then isn't in one tool, then you have these disconnected systems and it's hard to get the big picture. So at TaskTop, we're helping to uh, help organizations connect all those systems so they can get true end-to-end -end data on what their real flow time is and what the constraints are. Perfect. Mm. I'm sure you're going to do great there because, and they're lucky to have you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to wrap up because okay. we've got a bunch of people here, but yep. let me just oh, quickly show yours, the book. Right? <laughs> well, yes, but I, to show it to the audience, it's my prop. Okay. That's what we call it in the business. Yes. Um, <laughs> This is Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, DevOps TV, here with Dominica de Grandes. Mm -hmm. And her new book, Making Work Visible, mm -hmm. available tomorrow, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the usual places. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.